What does the dealer do? What's that big plastic button thing that says dealer? How does it pan out if I were to ask this gentleman to pitch a card over to this lady right here? Would you do so, please? Why did I pick you? You're good. Give the deck to somebody else. <laughs> There we go, Yasi okay. player. All the way over to him. That wasn't bad. Let's go to him this time. This is a, it's a player, not a target. There we go. Well, that's close. We got under the paper. Let's try another one. Ooh, hello. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, it wasn't their fault. They got caught in a wind current. Okay. Let's take this away from her. She's lethal. Okay, we've seen the point. Now, no disrespect to this lady, she's not a professional dealer. And that's what most people are going to do with a deck of cards. And you can see, we don't want to have exposed cards. We don't want cards falling off the table. So the house provides a dealer, very different than blackjack. The chips that are sitting in the dealer's tray are his money or her money to run the game. They're nothing you're playing against, it's not the house. The dealer is not playing for the house. They're not even involved in the game. Their job is to run it. They are the referees. They move the cards, they move the chips, they run the control of the game, they award the pots to the winners. And occasionally when there's a question or a dispute, they call the floor man over and he settles. I have a question. Yes. When do you tip the dealer and how much? Oh, that's a good question. Like, is there an etiquette for it? Yes, there is. And I think we all know that when you go to a restaurant, you aren't required to tip, but it's kind of a boorish act not to. And I think most folks that work in a restaurant would tell you that they will accept 10% as a minimum tip. 15% is kind of going rate these days, and anything over that usually means you work in the restaurant business or you drive a Ferrari. So either way, what's going on in a poker game is very similar. There's always somewhat of a going rate and you can usually see what that is by the players. When they win a pot, the dealer will push them a pot full of chips and if they are feeling so magnanimous, they will toss X number of chips to the dealer which then they will thank you, put in their pocket and that is what it is that they've gotten on that hand. Now, playing professionally as I did for so many years, the dealers all know who the pros are. And they never got angry at a professional who dealt a dollar a hand to them. That's a very low, that's pretty much a 10% tip. You'll see the other customers will give in excess of one. And some of the players that play just for pleasure and enjoyment, if they win a particularly big pot, they'll pick up a handful and throw them. But in reality, most games you'll see, there's a going rate that everyone tips right around two or three chips per pot, per win, per pot. When they, and of course, it varies. If they push you a pot that's this size right here, no one's expecting you to give them a tip. But if they push you a pot that a kangaroo couldn't jump over, yeah. you better come up with something or you're going to be known as a squeezer. It's just an old tradition and a lot of them don't even do it anymore, but it used to be that they would do that because anytime you took chips off the table and pocketed them somewhere, the house wanted to know, see this? I'm putting it here. Just as you probably have seen blackjack dealers and folks that work in the casino, they'll get up from the table. Thank you, folks. That is to show that the camera is not seeing any palmed chips in your hand. I'm showing you two empty hands clapping them together and walking away. I had a question. It seems like every time I tip the dealer, all of a sudden I feel a little bit better. It's just in my head. <laughs> That's what you call a superstition, and I always say the same thing about that. It's very bad luck to be superstitious. <laughs> A lot of people believe that uh, it's not something that any professional would necessarily concur with. There is no science to it at all. Although there are some parts of this game that there is no science to that I do agree with, that's not one of them. No, I have a question. I just want to go back to the tip before because it's funny because a lot of times I go, I go to bed and you know I'll play a little bit. I'm usually a machine guy, but when I sit down at the table and I've tipped a little bit, but I never really got the full etiquette of it. You know? So if I get a pot. Huh. Yeah, baby. No, am I, am I just throwing it, you know, when I, when I give some, let's say you get up from the table, you're done, you, you get away from the table. Uh, am I breaking it down based on how much I want, or 
was it just like it's taking you know the, the, the chips could be you know five dollar chips, ten dollar chips, whatever. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly how much uh, a party tip would be. Okay. I'm for the night, I'm going away. We're going on two different games. You're yeah. really talking about what I call a pit game. A pit game means when you go to Nevada and you're playing in the games that they're offering that I mentioned earlier that I'm not a real big fan of playing, which are blackjack, roulette, craps, etc. Now those games there, usually the tipping etiquette is as you said, if you've stayed at a blackjack table and won a nice little sum, at the end of that time you would then want to give them whatever tip it was you were so inclined to give. And also, in answer to your question, a lot of people when they play those games that really are based on luck, they kind of feel like here's some karma for you and they won't just put out a tip, they'll say, here I'll play this hand for you too dealer, thinking that the dealer now has some kind of an intention to do a magic show with the deck. Well here, let me fix that up and I can get sure, make sure we both end up with a profit here and screw the eye in the sky, it doesn't usually work that way. But yes, in the pit games, at the table games, you do want to, if you're going to tip, tip at the end of the session because if you tip during the course of it, usually by the end of it, it didn't turn out that well. So it's nice to get a verdict before you decide to do that. In poker, it's usually hand by hand. Although there were some very unsavory types that used to play in some of the Nevada casinos that I wouldn't have dealt to them if it meant standing and pushing a shopping cart on the street. They were so undesirable in nature and behavior. But they would tip the dealer at the end of that dealer's half hour sit at the table or what they call a down. At the end of the down they would tip the dealer according to how much they'd won in a half an hour. But they would push one pot after another and it was stiff, 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 stiff. And if it just turned out the guy that won all the money in the half hour wouldn't tip his own mother, then that dealer walked out with nothing. Thank you for watching. I'm Roger Rod and I'm your poker expert for Professorate.com.